this video, I want to show you how you can trigger Power BI data flows and data set refreshes automatically using Power Automate. We're going to go through it step by step together, but before that, why I implemented it in the first place. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So since I've learned about data flows, I've started to use them more often. But recently I've encountered an issue that I solved using Power Automate and I want to explain you the problem first. So here's a typical scenario that you might have when it comes to implementing a Power BI solution using data flows. So this is the solution that I've created for them. Every day at 6 a.m. they get a new file from the system which gets uploaded to a SharePoint folder. Uh, at 6.30 a.m. we have a data flow schedule refresh that picks up this data uh, and refreshes our data flow. This takes less than 30 minutes uh, every day. At 7 a.m. the data set has a scheduled refresh. So it refreshes the data based on the data coming from the data flows. And, and again, it doesn't take more than 30 minutes for this to happen. And at around half seven in the morning, new data is available in Power BI report that is cleaned and transformed. Uh, for reporting. Now this solution from end to end is fully automated, but there are some potential issues that could arise with this. So let's say that, for example, the data was updated late. So as you can see, instead of the data getting uploaded to SharePoint at 6 a.m., it gets uploaded an hour later. This means that the data flow schedule refresh still happens at half six. It doesn't really matter if there is data in the SharePoint folder or not. The schedule refresh will still run in the same schedule regardless, which means that even though this refresh will run, it will not capture the latest data that you have in the SharePoint, which in turn, the data set also will be outdated. Now, here's another issue that you might have with this solution. So because these schedule refreshes are hard schedules, it means that uh, it doesn't matter if the previous process is done its job or not. Uh, it will still do its job at half six or at 7 a.m. regardless uh, of the previous job. So let's say here, for example, uh, although the data is uploaded at 6 a.m. in the morning, uh, the data flow uh, scheduled refresh is happened at half six, which picked up the correct data. It took an hour to finish for some reason. Maybe there's a lot of data or maybe there's a lot of traffic. Um, and it took an hour to finish, which finished at half seven. The data set schedule refresh still started at 7 a.m., which means that it would have picked up the old version of the data from the data flow, which means that the data set will not have the latest data that it needs uh, for reporting. So we needed to find a smarter way to deal with this, ideally for one event to trigger another. And this is basically where Power Automate comes in. The idea is to create two flows, uh, one flow which will check when new data is available in a SharePoint site or SharePoint folder, which then refreshes the data flow. And another flow that checks for when the data flow refresh completes to then trigger the refresh in the data sets. This makes sure that the continuity of the uh, actions are done on a step-by-step -step basis and the next step doesn't start until the previous one is complete. So now let's have a look at implementing these solutions step-by-step -step together. So to give you a bit of background, I wanna show you this workspace that I've created for today. Uh, we have the workspace here with a couple of items here. And if I look at the lineage view, you'll see we have a data flow that is pulling data from our SharePoint folder. And we have a data set that pulls data from the data flow, which then in turn is being used by the grocery sales report. And this is the SharePoint folder where the Power BI data flows is pulling its data from. So we have three folders here. And what we want to do is we want to upload or when this new data goes into this, um, this SharePoint folder, we want the data flows to refresh. 
um, and then when the data flow refresh completes its refresh for the data set to refresh itself as well. And by the way, if you don't know how to use data flows in Power BI and how to implement it, I've actually covered it in a separate video already. So check it out if you haven't yet. So anyway, now we're going to go back to the uh, SharePoint folder here and we're going to create a flow from here by clicking the automate button here, power automate and create a flow. So it's gonna give you some templates that uh, you can use. So we're gonna hit show more and we're gonna look for this template called complete, uh, here we go. So when a new file is added in SharePoint, complete a custom action. And this is what we need exactly. So we click that uh, and we load up that template. So we hit continue. So the first part here is the trigger that checks. So it, you have to tell it where um, where it should monitor activity from. And we know that the folder is in the shared documents here, annual grocery sales. And now we need to add a custom step here. So we're gonna hit new. And from here, we're gonna type uh, data flows. So we're gonna he click here, refresh a data flow. So now we, all we need to do is look for that one. So I, we know that it's in workspace, it's in Northwind, and the data flow is called grocery sales. So just to remind you, this is the data flow that we're looking for, this green one here in the Northwind workspace. So now we save that, um, and that's the first flow pretty much done. So from here, let's also create a second flow, uh, which actually is not that difficult either. So we'll hit create from here we'll select automated cloud flow uh, we'll just rename this uh, refresh data set let's say and for a trigger we want to trigger or we want to monitor when a data flow refresh completes and basically what we want is if this data flow completes its refresh we want to refresh the data set in turn so we make sure that the data set only refreshes when the data flow refresh completes and so from here we click workspace we look for northwind data flow is grocery sales and then we create a custom step here we now look for power bi so here is what we need refresh the data sets so now we need to look for northwind once again and now we need to reference the data sets now uh, the grocery sales data sets if you just to remind you this is what we're looking for so we want to refresh this data sets when this data flow finishes um, its job so let's go back here let's hit save and that's it so now you've created the two flows uh, one that monitors the sharepoint folder and one that monitors the data flow let's have a look at testing this so we'll go back to our sharepoint folder here and we'll upload this file grocery sales 2021 into this folder and let's see how this works so now let's go back to our flows and let's see what's happened so let's look at the first trigger so here you can see that the run succeeded so it noticed that there is data in our sharepoint folder so now it's refreshed the data flow itself um, and to check that let's uh, refresh here and you can see it's refreshing now the data flow and now it refreshed started refreshing actually not so long ago so you can see here uh, it took 31 seconds um, and it's completed so that should have triggered the data set refresh so let's go back to our flows let's go to the second one and let's see if that got triggered so now we look back at our flow uh, and it's also been triggered it took a while uh, because we are on a free plan with Power Automate, but you can see that it succeeded in refreshing the data sets. And if you look back here, uh, you can see the refresh finished uh, now. If you look at the refresh history, uh, right here, refresh history, it's refreshed complete 
um, pretty quickly, about 3 seconds. And that's really it for this video. I hope it helped you understand how easy it is to start using Power Automate to fill in the gaps with your Power BI solution. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you enjoyed this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access demo files and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks for watching once again and see you in the next one. Bye bye.